Good morning, my little sunshine partner. Good morning. How are you feeling? Tired. Oh my goodness. So we had alarm set for like 5, 5.15, 5.30. We were snoozing all of those. Finally got up at 6.10 and I ran out of the room. Like literally jumped out of bed, grabbed the tripod and ran because the sunrise was happening. Yeah. We kind of missed the first part of it, but I think it still looked pretty good. Yeah. And uh, nice, good, bright and early start to the day. So Chelsea, what are we doing today? From what I understand, we're going on a catamaran and we're gonna swim with, you said baby sharks. Yep, little sharks, like the ones we saw last night. Those were not little, those were big though. Those were those were pretty little. That one was bigger than me, I, that's big. So yeah, we have a catamaran picking us up today and we actually rented the whole thing, it's private. So normally it's like six to eight or six to 10 people or something like that and it's like $115 a person or it was 500 to just rent the entire thing out. So it's like, if you had a party of three, you can essentially rent the whole thing. And I was just like, I mean, just for the sake of the vlog, the sake of being quick, we don't have to wait for like other people to, to get ready and get in the water and get out of the water and whatever else so we can hopefully see a little bit more. They take you around to all the secret spots on the island. You swim with sharks, rays, dolphins, um, eagle rays, what else? I don't know. There's like a million Whatever things we could, up, could end up seeing today. So it's gonna be really, really fun. Actually, I'm pretty sure that red catamaran right there over in Okanohu Bay is ours. I just realized that as we were walking by. It's a big red one. It's called Taboo. However, because we're leaving so early, we just didn't have the time. We had to have breakfast delivered to us, truly Polynesian style, in a canoe. Are you serious right now, babe? That's so cool. So we, we put in our order yesterday, and you have to do it 24 hours beforehand, but now it's here. It's coming right to our swim platform. This is amazing. I have a new boyfriend, <laughs> sorry. He said he's taking her to Bora Bora. <laughs> I'll see you later, it's Chels. Just two nights, just like that. Hey. Oh, just one night? That's all you need? Two nights. Two nights, okay. <laughs> Bye. It was at this point that I realized maybe this trip wasn't the best idea. I thought it was going to be romantic, but my girlfriend just got whisked away by a tan, buff, and handsome Polynesian man. So, you guys were gone for a little while. I know, I was getting there, I was like, this is really, really nice, but also, like, I'm on a strict schedule. <laughs> <laughs> we have to be gone in, actually, no, it's, it's exactly 7.15, we have plenty of time. Oh. He's, he's paddling back there. So he runs the pool equipment throughout the day, and yes. like, rinse out the snorkel gear and yes. stuff. So we were joking with him all yesterday, having a good time, whatever else, and then I think it was cool that he was the one that was paddling. Today at 3.30, he has a canoe race in Tahiti, and it's like a big race. Really? He said there's like 200 canoes, six people each, and they race. I wish we could go see that. He said it's at 3.30. We would have to get back and immediately, we might be able to make, we'll see what time we get back. But yeah, uh, I don't know where it starts Holy or anything. cow, this looks insane. So I got poison crew, which is raw fish and coconut milk. Mm -hmm. It's supposed to be like the, the local tradition. Yeah. I've never had it, but it looks really good. She got eggs and traditional continental breakfast, whatever yeah. else. Bunch of little muffins and, and things like that. We've got some fruit that has kiwi in it, so you can't eat that. Whoops, we didn't That's think right. about that. But it's uh, absolutely insane. Pineapple juice, mango juice. This is uh, hard to beat. Oh God, things are happening. The red catamaran is on the move, so they're gonna come pick us up right here. So nice that we're able to see it, but uh, that doesn't mean that we're prepared yet. We didn't get to finish breakfast all the way. That's fine, I'm feeling pretty good. How are you feeling, girl? Great. You ready to go? I'm ready. Ready to swim with some sharks? We'll see. Oh yeah, there she is. The whip for the day, I'm excited. I can't decide if I'm excited or nervous. It's like both in my stomach really? right now, yeah. Oh, I don't I'm know. so excited. How are you? Yes. Sorry we're a little late. Oh, it's okay. So I am uh, Jerome. Jerome? Yes, Jay, if you prefer. Here we go, girl. This is it. 
Oh my Funny goodness. about the boat ride situation. I don't know about the shark. So he said we were going this way. We were going to stay mainly on the north side of the island. Yep. We've got like three stops, maybe four stops. And the first stop is the sharks and the rays. Every time I turn my head, it's like a new prettiest view I've ever seen. Are you kidding me? We're just going through all these little sailboats, just chilling. Jerome may have just ruined her day. We just found out that the dolphins were in this bay yesterday and they were like right there, easy to see, but they aren't here today. So they might be in a different spot. I don't Maybe we'll run into them. Maybe they're going to be where we're going with the sharks. Maybe they'll protect you. You know what I mean? My goal there. Hey, the turtle. I know. It's your See, favorite that, animal. I will happily dive in with. There's one there and then there's one up behind it as well. That is so cool. Well, Chels, it's been nice knowing you. Don't make it worse than it is. They're going to drag you away and bite you up into little pieces. I think we've made it. There's so many like boats and kayaks and paddle boards and all kinds of stuff out here. This has got to be it. I would paddle board with them. Well, no, we're going to get in the water. I think I'm really nervous because I, I just don't like the stingrays. <laughs> and so now I have that pre preface like... The sharks are going to be bad too? Yeah, like I no, don't like no, no, no. that. I think the sharks will be better. The stingrays get pretty aggressive about food and stuff like that. I've got a feeling the sharks are going to be a little bit different. So how are you feeling? First stop down. So actually, I didn't even feel freaked out about the sharks at all. Really? I just, I don't like the stingrays because they're so <laughs> curious that they touch you and you don't get a choice. She doesn't like how abrasive they are, I guess you could say. The sharks yeah. are trying to get away from you the whole time. It was pretty cool though. I wish, um, I wish there were a few more sharks. There were only a couple and they were, like I said, they were being pretty elusive. There's one right here swimming around. Yeah. They don't really like the people as much. Which but is... I feel like if we were at a reef or like where we had dinner last night, Yeah. I feel like I wouldn't freak out if I saw one now. Well, there we go. Yeah. We crossed off a of fear. Good job, buddy. All right, so we made it to stop number two. We are in between two Motus, which are little islands. They're actually private islands owned by a family here on Morea, but uh, this is another little snorkeling spot. There's a lot of coral over this way towards the ocean, so we're gonna go check it out. Let's go, girl. You aren't gonna be able to touch, just so you know. This is just so perfect. Are you kidding me right now? I've been here all day. Look at this. So we just got done snorkeling all throughout there. Got some pretty good footage, I think. There were quite a few fish out, even that one ray. We have this mountain in the background, and I think we're going on the other side of this motu here, and there's a little sandbar that's like three feet, and nobody there. It's completely deserted. Oh, 
Oh, Look at him, girl. That's awesome. They're so beautiful. Well, that's three that we've seen. I know, they're so peaceful. We haven't been in the water yet, but that's cool. making up some Mai Tais. Yeah. He took us to a secret little spot here. This is all a sandbar right here. It's about like three feet deep. Over there, it's one or two feet deep. Girl, this is one of the uh, the bougiest things we have ever done. I know. And I am here for it. <laughs> Drinking Mai Tais on a sandbar in the middle of French Polynesia. And that's our personal sailboat that we aren't sailing today because there's hardly any wind, but <laughs> still, our personal little motorboat. This is not serious right now. Oh my gosh. We got a fruit plate. Yeah. Thank you. Fantastic. Awesome. Complete with a floating table. I love it. <laughs> Perfect. Thank you. So this is a spot where they have some tiki's underwater oh my gosh there's nine of them i think we're gonna go check them out so why are these tiki's here as it turns out they're the work of an artist who was portraying events from the 18th century in 1797 the protestant church arrived and they attempted to convert all of the tahitian people so to try and preserve their religion locals sunk their tiki's and other religious artifacts in the ocean and this prevented them from being destroyed by all the christian missionaries also, super cool that Jerome was cleaning them off. He says he does it every time he stops to keep them clean for other visitors. Come on, girl, you gotta stick your thumb out. You're Absolutely the cute one. Absolutely not. They're gonna pick you up, not me. No way. Anyway, where are we heading right now? Uh, hopefully the public beach. Yeah. That's the plan. So we are currently walking down to the public beach that is just a few blocks down from the hotel, looking for a spot to drone. Obviously drones are not allowed in the Hilton property. They told us that we could go down to the public beach, we can fly the drone from there and fly it back to the hotel, but just don't stay too low, don't like make it really obvious so that people can hear it and stuff like that. But as long as we kind of like stay a little bit out of range, we can still shoot the hotel and uh, that's what we're trying to do. This is so insane. Look at that water. Oh my God, I'm kind of glad we walked down here. At least we found something new, right? That was incredible. I saw you looking over my shoulder, did so you see it? So gorgeous, oh my God. You don't have to be a good photographer, a good drone pilot or anything here. Everything, like all the greens and the blues just look so good, it doesn't even matter. You look like a pro. Last night I was going through our photos for Instagram and there were some I literally did not even edit. It's so You don't incredible. need to, it's so beautiful. So I think we're gonna head back to the hotel now. Honestly, the only thing I wanna do, and I'm pretty sure you're the same way, I want to hang out in the bungalow. Like I want to do some yes. snorkeling, but I also want to order some room service and just like lay on the back deck and relax.
snorkeling expedition and apparently we weren't done yet so here we are i think this has become my favorite time of day to take the paddle boards out i really want to do this when we get home like when the sun is not quite down but it's thinking about it it's beautiful would you just look at this view i mean seriously like not not talking about this view if we just block that out that is so beautiful right there with all the huts and everything and the giant mountain in the background chilling out here on a paddle board no sounds really you can hear like a little bit of music coming from the beach but mostly just the water hitting the board you can see the fish swimming around in the coral underneath you this is top three coolest moments of my entire life right here so when we decided that we were going to go snorkeling we were like we'll go snorkeling we'll get paddle boards and then we'll just swim back to the room because the water feels so great we didn't bring a room key that was definitely two maybe three hours ago so i got to walk back dry and he is where i can't find him guys he's either really cruising or he drowned because i'm moving there's no way right there's no way he beat me there he is how was your swim? So he just swam all the way from over there to come let me in at our room. Sorry, babe. So if you guys remember from our first day here when we did the little tour and just kind of checked everything out, there was that Aimeo bar, which has the longest, best happy hour on the island. Uh, it's our last night and we're going to check it out for the first time. We made it like seven days here. We did, like honestly, four days absolutely not enough technically three we've been on the island for four but here at the hilton for three yeah. definitely not enough ha ah, the imeo bar home of the best happy hour on morea and they have a crazy plethora of drinks to choose from they even have an extensive like custom signature shot menu that we ordered a couple off of and we just hung out listened to the live music and uh had a great night after that we went back to the room and we um <clears throat> we just watched the fish so it was a great night and uh, that was the, the end of the trip here at the Hilton. So again, thank you to them for inviting us and allowing us to stay. We had a fantastic time and we can't wait to be back in the future. But um, tomorrow we are going to be hopping on a plane and we are going to be flying to Bora Bora for the first time ever. We're very excited to share that with you guys. Make sure you guys check back. Peace out.